it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today I'm going to attempt something new. I haven't done it yet. Um, in theory, I have an idea, <laughs> but we're going to make this B super big. So far, I've only made the B or the letters as big as I want to say eight inches. And so far, I haven't had any issues with it being more than my 12 by 12 um, cardstock so the letter hasn't been bigger than than 12 inches or 11 and a half inches and neither have um, any of the tabs been that long but we're gonna make the letter 20 inches so we'll see how that impacts everything I don't even know how this is gonna work out but I have an idea so <laughs> let's get started first thing is we want to create and I wrote this down because you guys were so helpful. I didn't know what the heck to call that thing when it's not when we grow it, we call it an offset. When we shrink it, it's called an internal offset. <laughs> so let's go create that because that's going to help us. Um, actually, it will not help us, but uh, it's decorative and it's nice. So let's do that. Let's go into Inkscape really quickly and I'm just gonna do a new one. So let's go to new. And then um, what you wanna do is, so I bought this file from Nomara Quintella on Etsy. It's a great file. It was highly recommended to, to me. And so I just plopped out the 18 bucks and got all the letters, numbers, and symbols. Uh, but so far, it feels like a really good purchase. I did compare it to the Design Space ones. Design Space is $2 per letter. Um, if you have access, it's a dollar, but still that's $26 for the letters and then numbers and whatever else. So I feel like the $18 is a really good deal. Also, the Design Space ones are a little bit thinner. I like the bulky look. Um, I think it's probably easier to handle. I didn't even bother to make the design space one, but what I think would happen is it's gonna be skinnier and a little bit harder to, to handle. And I think that, you know, the blockier ones, you can have more of a design feel to it. Like you can get really creative with your themes. Like I did one for Tiana recently and it was a lot of fun. It gave me a lot of room to add more things to it. I think if it was skinnier, it would be more difficult. I also tried the one on Creative Fabrica, which, you know, I, I'm an affiliate. I love Creative Fabrica, but the design was poorly done. So I do recommend this Etsy designer. Um, she's, I mean, I don't know. I think she's sold a, t a bazillion <laughs> and it's been great. Every one of them. Anyway. All right. So go to file. So you got to download it. And then what happens is each letter and each number, each symbol is its own file. So if you need it in design space, you have to upload each one in. Um, I mean, it just is what it is. If she did it any other way, you could you 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 have to do it that way. Otherwise, the file's too big, and then you would get stuck in design space. So all right. Um, so I've already downloaded. So what we want to do is we want to import it into Inkscape to create that internal offset. Um, I had to check my notes to make sure I was saying it correctly. <laughs> All right, so it's in my desktop and it's my 3D letter for B. Where is my 3D letter? How come I don't see? Oh, because it is, there it is, uh, cut score. Okay, and you also want the line score. Um, you want the dotted lines because you want those to be cut so that it folds easier and it's gonna give you that crisp um, fold, which you really, really want. So anyway, here's my B. Just click OK. So when it comes in, it comes in without any color. So just click on a color, then you'll see it. I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger. So before you pull this out and make it bigger, you need to make sure that your image is locked. So up here, click on the lock button. So just like Design Space, uh, mine always defaults to unlock. I don't know if there's that's a setting that you can change, but if you've been following me for a while, you know I'm just in and out of Inkscape because I'm so uncomfortable in here. So if it's a setting, whatever. <laughs> I'm just gonna click on the lock button every time. Okay, so I made it a little bit bigger. What you wanna do is you wanna click in the, um, the white empty space because you don't want anything selected right now. Right now this whole image is selected, hence the dotted line around it. 
So click in the white space, click on your paint bucket, click on a color, any color but that color just to make it easier on ourselves. And up here, normally when we create the offset, it's a positive number. So 10, 15, 20, whatever. So because we're creating an internal offset, we actually want it to shrink, it's gonna be negative. So make sure when you're up here, type in the negative sign, so the, the one, the dash to the right of the number zero. And then I like my offset to be really small. So I'm gonna do negative 10. The reason being for these letters is you have these corners and sometimes they're, um, you'll see when you fold them together, it's better to have an offset that is really close to the edge to help you hide any imperfections that you may have. So I kind of like it that way just to help with the overall look. So did you see, I clicked on the B. I'll do it again on this side because I was talking while I did that. So after you put in the negative 10, just click on your B and you can see the internal offset, right? How beautiful, I love this. Okay, click on the arrow and you want to grab everything, okay? So when you grab everything, you wanna to go to path, object to path, and then file, save as. So save as, I'll just do 3DB internal offset. I was calling it an inset, an insert, so close. Internal offset. <laughs> All right, let's go to design space. I already uploaded this, so I'm just gonna delete it. So I'm gonna go to upload, upload image, browse, and then you're gonna find your, your file, right? So I did 3DB internal offset right there. Double clicked on it, I'm good there, click save. It is now here, select it and then insert image. All right. <sighs> okay, so what is gonna guide us here is we want the letter B to actually be 20 inches. So when we do that, we need to resize everything at one time. So let's ungroup everything for now. The other thing that the designer does is, if you can see on here, that's a square and that's a circle. That gives us um, a clue as to where to start. So this, this line right here starts here with the circle and you can see it goes here. And then obviously, okay, and I mean this in the nicest way possible, it is a no brainer. The next piece here is this shirt piece. So it has to go right here. Obviously not here because this is a very long piece, which is this piece right here. So to me, I get rid of my visual markers. So over here, you can just select this and start deleting it. To me, all these letters that I've done so far, it has been fairly obvious to me where everything goes. So like this one is a little bit larger than this, right? You know it's your two um, little squares for your beads, right? So the smaller one has to go here. This one has to be for this one. This piece has to be right here. So it really gives you a lot of visual clues that I don't think I need to have those other ones. So anyway, so just delete those. All right, so now we have everything. Because we're measuring by the size of the letter B, we want the B to be the tallest thing in our, on our canvas. I don't know how else to explain it. So what you wanna do is you wanna ungroup everything and we want to turn all of these tabs on its side and we want to make sure that the tabs are within the height of the letter B because we want to measure this whole thing by our letter B. I don't know how else to say that, but hopefully as we're doing this, it will make sense to you, okay? So I'm gonna rotate all of these here. I didn't need to rotate those little ones because they were within the height of the letter B. Okay. Ready? <laughs> all right, so now we're gonna grab all of this and we're gonna make the height 20 inches. So by doing this, and because the image is locked, which we've confirmed here, hit tab, everything is gonna be resized proportionately. So our B, so let's shrink this for a second and zoom out. RB is now, you can see when I click on it, it's 20 inches, right? So let's ungroup this for a second. So here is our, let's see which one is bigger. 
Okay, so this is our um, internal offset, right? So let's arrange center to the front so you can see it, right? So this is 19 inches long, this is 20 inches long, and now this piece was resized appropriately, respectively, and you can, I'm gonna try to make it so that you can see it, arranged center to the front. You can see this piece is now perfectly aligned with this piece, right? So this piece still goes right here for this long piece. So everything was resized uh, proportionately. I'm gonna grab all the pink items. I feel like the pink is it's giving me a little bit of a headache. So I'm gonna turn it into blue, okay. So this is another cool thing that I like about um, the right-hand side panel is if you go to Color Sync right now, you can just grab all these pink items and drop it into the blue and it turns blue. Okay, hopefully that's a little bit easier on your eyes as well. Okay, um, all right, so here are all our pieces, right? So I'm gonna make them straight just because it's driving me crazy right now. Okay, so this piece, even this piece is too, too long. It's 14 inches by eight. This is 16 inches by eight. Now, I'm gonna assume that everybody has 12 by 12 cardstock. So there's a number of things, the smaller pieces, so let's see, do we, we have one more piece, right? Yeah, we do. Okay, and this piece is way long at 31 inches. Okay, for the smaller pieces, we may be able to get away with this by tilting it, by rot slightly rotating it. So the way Design Space measures um, length and or width and height is for our width, for instance, this distance right here, right now for this piece is 16.29, right? It's taking the measurement from the most left to the most right and just subtracting the difference. What is the difference between those two points? And it's 16.29. So if I were to rotate this a little bit like this, uh, that didn't help me at all. The piece is just too long. But you see how my um, height changed? Because the height also does the same thing. From the most highest point to the most lowest point, the difference between the two is your um, is your height. So it changed from 13.85 to, this should be my shortest, at eight something, right? Okay, so we're gonna have to slice all these pieces. Let's get to the tabs in a second. Let's look at our B. So our B is 20 inches. So what I think would be cool is if you were to do this B, I would probably do the top half B and make it like a red, or I don't know what theme this is, but let's say, um, let's say it's Mickey Mouse. So I want the top half of the B to be red, the bottom half to be black, and that way there's like a visible seam that's totally acceptable because you're going with two different colors. So I would do, I would probably do that on both pieces. Yeah, so that way you don't see any seams. So for this piece, what I would do is, oh man, everything is long about this. It's 14 and a half inches across. So we need to slice it down the middle as well as across. Okay, it is what it is. Nothing we can do about it. So let's slice this in half. So with this being 14 and a half inches, in half would be 7.25, right? So let's make this square, 7.25. And let's unlock this height and make this um, just like 22 inches, just so that we know it's bigger than our piece. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this and I want to grab both items and align it. Align it um, left so that it's perfectly down the middle, okay? And then also align bottom okay it was already because you want to make sure that your rectangle covers everything that you want to slice out so I'm gonna grab these two and I'm gonna slice 
So now we have half the B here and half the B here. We can get rid of this and this. So our B is now cut in half. So width-wise, now our pieces are okay at seven and a quarter and seven. What's not okay is it's still too high, right? So let's grab these two and then let's align the bottom. So it's gonna be split in four pieces. Let's grab a square, unlock it, let's make it big. Okay, um, and this is, so we want it 10 inches. So let's make this 10 inches. And, um, oops, we want the height to be 10 inches and then making sure it covers a So if we do it like this, so let's grab this, hold on, is this a, okay, yeah, okay. Um, actually, so it doesn't look like it's in half. This split right here is much higher, hold on, let's put this right here on the line so we can see it, and let's put it right there uh, okay unlock it make sure that we get all the way to the bottom all right let's slice this and see if we have a good slice yep it looks pretty good that's exactly where the line is right it's hard to see all right let's grab these two and slice So here's our B in four pieces that now can be cut, okay? So what I would do, and let's see, how big is this? This is also, I almost feel as if, okay, we haven't done anything too bad, but you feel, see how it's in four pieces? I feel like if we just made this slightly smaller, we would be in a much better space. So let's, <laughs> And sometimes that's good. It's good to know where your limits are. 20 inches is too high. This is what we're gonna do. Let's make a duplicate copy of this. So go back to layers and duplicate. And we're just gonna flip it horizontal. It's like we're right back at the beginning, right? Okay, so we're gonna resize this thing. I wanna resize it so that my, um, this piece across is 11 and a half so that I'm only cutting this in half, okay? So let's see, right now it is 14 and a half. All right, so let's select all, let's change the height. Okay, something's out of, oh, I see. Let's grab these two and align bottom. Okay, so now when we select all, the height should be 20 inches, good. Okay, let's make this 19 inches and see where it gets us, okay? So at 19 inches, this is 13.75, so that's not helping us. So let's grab select all. Let's make this maybe 17 inches and see where it gets us. All right, so at 17 inches, it's 12.3, all right. Select all. Maybe we can only do this at 15 inches. But at 15 inches, okay, oh, it's 10.875. So select all, let's do 16 inches. I know you're probably wondering like, why is she doing all of this? But it really makes a difference in the number of cuts and it, it just makes a difference in how everything looks. So instead of the B being four pieces, which I really can't, I don't know how to design, like add things on top on purpose, why it would need to be in four pieces. Where if it's in two pieces, like if we did Mickey Mouse, right? The top portion would be black because it's like his, his face is black and then the bottom half of the B would be red because his pants are red. Like it just makes sense, right? And then we could add ears somewhere or we could add a little picture of Minnie Mouse or his little um, buttons on his shorts and it would 
be more obvious. I don't know splitting it in four would make that would make it work that well. Okay, so at 16 inches, this is 11.6. We can only cut 11.5, but we can trick the Cricut. So I'm gonna keep it at 16 inches because I like round hole numbers. So we're gonna do B at 16 inches, okay? All right, so let's grab our square. Let's cut this in half. And, and remember our B, I'm gonna zoom in just so that we can see where that slit is or where that indent is. And let's line it up right there. Grab the two items and slice. Okay, so that looks pretty good, right? So that's our B. I'm gonna zoom back out. So we don't need this B because we can just duplicate this B and go to flip and flip horizontal and then that way it's already cut for us. Okay, so our B is in two pieces each. Okay, so this little guy as well would need to be cut in half, right? Um, so let's get another square. And same thing with this one. Look to see where it is. Grab the two. And you see how my big square right here is overlapping the blue bees, but my mouse only picked up this green bee and a little bit of the square, and that's two items. You can only slice two things at one time. So that's why this is still available. You can slice in traffic, like there can be a ton of stuff all around it, but if your mouse only picks up two items, you can still slice. So that's a very, very important um, uh, like rule to know. Okay. So here's the slice, so let's slice that. So here's our top B, and there's our bottom B, get rid of all your slice results. Okay, so again with this one, because it's already done, I'm just gonna grab the two and duplicate it, flip horizontal, then we have the back side and the front side. Um, personally, these, if you don't need to do the back side, I wouldn't, but that's just you. So I'm gonna delete mine because I'm not doing a back side. I'm just gonna have that. Okay, let's look at these pieces. Whoa, this piece is long. Um, okay. So how we're gonna do these pieces is, do you see, we're gonna slice it wherever the dotted lines are. So this one is 13.03. I feel like, can I twist this and make it smaller? No, I can't, okay. So we're, yeah, we're gonna need to slice this. Now you see how whenever, these are different tabs, right? So we're basically creating an additional tab. We're gonna break this into two, so it's gonna be two separate tabs. The way they're connected is they have this little piece, right? That little piece is gonna help you connect to the next tab. So when we're separating these tabs, we just need to add this little piece in. So this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna slice off this piece so that we have it. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Let's bring in a square. Okay, and I'm gonna zoom in just so that we can really see this, okay? So we want an extra piece of this, okay? So let's duplicate this just so that we have it, okay? Let's grab this piece, unlock it, okay? And this is not lined up straight, so we wanna make sure There, that looks straight, okay. So this, that looks perfect to me, okay. So we need to grab this guy and ungroup it because you can only slice two things at a time, right? So I'm gonna slice this blue, 
hit your shift key, grab your square, and slice. There, that's gonna give us the little tab that we need, okay? Then, so we can get rid of this. Now this, what we need from here is we need this dotted line. So, can I do that? Yes, okay. So, let's slice out this dotted line, okay? So we're gonna do it like this. And I think this will work. Let's grab the, oh no, it doesn't. Okay, hold on. Why? Let's look at this piece. Um, it says I can contour. Let's click on contour. Click on here for 100%. And let's see what we have. I can't even see it. Oh, there it is. Oh, good Lord. Okay. <laughs> Let's hide all and let's select each one of these. Because I only need one little line. I don't know if there's an easier way to do this, but there's our line. Perfect. Oh, I missed that little dot. So let's go to contour real quick. What did I miss? Oh, I know. This one. Okay. There we go. So here's our line. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab, ah, come on. Okay. Maybe I'm going to do this. Um, let's bring this dotted line to the front. We'll leave it up here. It's okay. We'll do it afterwards. So let's duplicate it because we're going to need it a few times. Okay. So we have that there. Okay. So let's zoom back out. This is a lot of work. Okay. Where are all our pieces? What the heck? All right. Okay. So this guy, we'll do him first. Oh my gosh, 11.7. I think this one. Can I get this to work? Okay. This one is good. 11.2 by rotating it. It's 11.2 by 10.7. So this one, we don't need to do anything. It will remain the same. This one is too long. Let's just slice him in half, okay, right here. So what we're gonna do is, oh man, this is a lot of work because I'm thinking of the dotted lines. Um, okay, let's duplicate it just to make sure that we have it. Okay, let's go to shapes. We gotta get our square and we're just gonna go and cut it in half, right? Like right there, I think that's good. Um, so we have to ungroup this because we only want the, the blue, hit the shift and our square and slice. So here's this piece, right? So what we need to do is we need to add this little tab to the end of here so that it can connect to this piece. So how we're gonna do this is we're gonna bring this down over here and I'm gonna zoom in just so that I can see a little bit better. Okay. Oops, this is my little dotted line. Okay, so that looks good to me, I think. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. Um, okay, here it is. Okay, so let's try it out. We're gonna grab these two items and we're gonna weld. Okay, so it welded. All right, so now we gotta put 
this guy back in. I feel like the only way to do this is to contour. Uh, uh. Let's see, so it's gonna, let's bring it to the front. Arrange, send to the front. Okay, the good thing is it, it does this, so we gotta get rid of this. So let's duplicate it because we know we need that half, that second half for the other side. We gotta get rid of basically these dots right here. So let's go to contour, hit 100% so that we can see it. And let's see what it looks like. This is a lot of work. I, hopefully you charge enough for it because just, the, I mean the, once you cut it, it'll be easy because it's a bigger piece so it'll be easier to fold and put down. But um, this is a lot of work in design space and then it doesn't even give me the figure. So let me, I don't even know where it's, deleting right now. Let's see. Oh, it's deleting this. Okay. Um, so let's go to contour. I mean, uh, this is what you would need to do. You would need to contour and you can't even see what you're contouring. So I'm kind of just, oh there, finally. It is contouring out, okay. It would be easier to do this. Okay, so that's done. Let's get rid of this. Oh my gosh, this is like, it's a serious off the map project. <laughs> okay, so we have these two. Let's get rid of this one. Oh, can we even get rid of it? I don't know if they're the same size. Okay, let's put this down. Okay, this looks like it's the right size. So actually, we don't need this side at all. Okay. So we, you should actually get rid of those dotted lines on this side. Okay. So let's duplicate this. And let's see our other piece. Let's see if it's the same size. That's actually not bad, but we gotta get rid of this side. So I would contour. And we gotta wait for it to populate because we don't even know which side this is on here. Oh man. I wish we could just slice it off. I don't know how else to do it so that we could easily slice off the dotted lines. Um, but you're basically gonna need to do this each time. So let's go out of this so I can show you what that looks like. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of this. Let's say that you finally got got this to work and you remove. you need to remove the dotted lines here. I mean, I guess you don't, it would just cut on your mat because we already have the straight edge here, so it's gonna cut like this. So this piece is fine. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, so the, the two pieces that we did, which, which was this one, is now broken up here. So it's, and you want to attach it, okay? So you want the dotted lines to stay attached to where we go. 
So if you can see, this is now here. It has this tab, because this tab, you're gonna glue it to attach to this these two. So hold on, let's grab these two and attach it as well. So now that piece is now in two pieces. Does that make sense? And these pieces you can cut because it's seven by 6.4 basically. So we can get rid of this piece. So that's how I would do it is I would take, this tab is okay because this we rotated and it fits, right? So we don't need these dotted lines. So we can get rid of, get rid of that one. We need these tabs. Those tabs are gonna help us because you're gonna need to add it to here. Um, now let's see how long this is. You might have to slice this in half. This is a hard, hard project. It's also a special request, which is why I'm like, oh man, okay. <laughs> let's look at this piece. So I'm not gonna do all of the pieces because I feel like it's slowing down my design space a lot. Um, okay, let's make sure this is lined up. Okay, so at 25 inches, you're gonna need to slice this up into three. So I would slice it right here. So this piece is by itself. I would slice it right down this line. And then I would add that little tab. So you're gonna need to duplicate this tab multiple times because every time you, you have a cut, so you're gonna to need to put a tab here and then you're gonna do one more cut and you need a tab there as well. And I would probably just do, yeah, like right here. So it's one piece, two pieces, and then these three pieces would be my third piece. And so you're gonna to need to add the two tabs here and here. You're gonna slice it up. This piece is tough because this piece is so long. you're gonna to need to slice it somewhere here and then just put the tab in there. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the first step again to make sure that you understand. So let's do this piece. So just duplicate it so you know you're working on this piece. And then that way, if you saw how I did it, I put the pieces back together on top of it to make sure that we did it correctly and then you can delete the duplicate. Okay, so here's our piece. We are going to slice him right at the dotted line. So that looks good. Okay, you gotta grab this and we need to ungroup it. Okay, so the blue piece and the square and we're gonna slice it. I think the hardest part is just if we didn't have to add the dotted lines, it would be so much easier and faster. Okay, so here's this piece, right? We need to add this. So let's add that, duplicate it because we know we need to do it a few more times, right? And then you need to weld it together. So let's zoom in so that we can get a really good weld. Put it really close. Like that, oh, it sh I hate how it shifts at the end. Okay, let's grab these two and weld it. Perfect, okay. Um, and then you're gonna have to duplicate this dotted line so that there's dotted lines right here, right here, and right here. <laughs> All right, let's zoom back out. Okay, so that's that one, right? Now you gotta go over here and let's do, let's see how long this is now. This is 17, okay. So we were gonna do it right here. So the blue and the square and slice. So see that that little tab is going to glue to this. So it'll be right here. And then, and then you're gonna add another tab right here that will then glue to this piece. But now you have 
this piece is now in three pieces that you can cut on your Cricut. The only thing, I mean, again, the only thing that's difficult with this process is these dotted lines. I don't know how else to create this line. Um, I wonder if we just went to shapes and did a score line. Let me see how that would work. So here's our score line, but I wonder if I can change it from score to cut. What happens to my cut line when I do that? Oh, but see, it becomes, it becomes like just a straight line. So you're, you're gonna cut off your tab. So let's go back to score. I guess if you did this and you scored it, you just have to deal with it being scored instead of cut. If you use 65 pound paper cardstock, I think that would, that would help. Then it'll fold easier more easily. So I would do this, yeah. That would make it a little bit faster. Once you have it there, you need to attach it. So I would do this, attach. And then you would need one coming down here and then one coming across here. Okay, so that's one tab, then you, then all you have left is one more tab to do. And this one, again, you would you would have to do um, in three. You would This would need to be in half, and then this one right here. And again, add the tabs to, you know, to weld it. And that's it. Oh my gosh. I hope that was helpful. Um, let me know if you guys do it differently, how else you would do this, but I'm feeling that all my block letters are gonna be about six to eight inches, so I don't have to do this. <laughs> all right, comments, questions, please let me know what you think. I would love to hear um, you know, how you guys would do this or if you have other thoughts, it would be great. I think it's... Um, a group project would really help me right now. <laughs> and if you have any special requests, please post that as well. So on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. And then after you post it, if you have a lot, a lot of details, email it to me. It's Ann, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. All right? Bye, guys.